Today we're going to be making a dish soap. I already have all of my oils melted and I will give you the recipe in the description, more of the details in the description and things like that. But this recipe is going to have coconut oil, soy wax, and castor oil. Now, one thing, look, some things with um, dish soap is normally when you make soap, you have a super fat that is a amount of oils in the soap that will not be turned into soap you know it helps her as like a safety buffer and make sure you're not putting too much lye and if you're going to be using it on your skin it'll make it feel more gentle and things like that but when you're washing your dishes that's not something you're really worried about it can leave a residue if you use a super fat so this recipe has a zero percent super fat got 80 percent coconut oil 15% soy wax and 5% castor oil. And for my lye water, my lye water is pre-made, I have um, some sugar in my water to help with some more bubbles. I'm going to be putting these in single bar molds. Now one thing of course when you're making soap you always have to have lye safety, gloves, safety, glasses and goggles. So I'm going to pour all my oils, combine them and then we'll add our light. This is my soy wax. And for this soap, we're not going to be doing a essential oil or a color. I know some people prefer to have a scent or something for their dish soap, but it's not something I'm <laughs> totally interested in, so we're just going to keep this simple. Before I mess with my lot, I'm going to put my life safety gear on, have your long sleeve shirt, pants, and closed toed shoes, and yeah. pour my line. Mix this in some, then I'll blend this for a little bit. I'm going to blend this kind of slowly because this is a lot of hard oils in this soap, so I'm going to proceed with some caution. happy with the consistency of this so I'm going to pour this into my mold. It's like a kind of uh, can't see it. It's a sandy color.
Now that we have everything in our molds, um, I'll be back to show you the unmolding and the final result. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.